So if you watched our previous video, you will know that <coughs> Sorry. A couple of days ago, um, I decided to get a COVID test done and as it turns out, I do have COVID. Uh, I was so sure that I could not have it. Which means that we have to quarantine here in Mexico, which has been a bit of a mess to get organized and things so far have not been that great. Good morning. Well, it's all relative, of course. Morning. Good morning. So today is isolation day three. Um, we arrived here two days ago. I haven't put on pants since, honestly. Um, I'm in my new robe. So elegant. Um, I think the first day that we were in here, <clears throat> the symptoms were more like a cold, like a pretty bad cold. And then yesterday it sort of evolved into a medium, a medium strain flu with the signature COVID cough. Um, before I didn't, but now I, I feel properly sick. Hello from the COVID wards in La Paz. I also feel sick and I also have COVID symptoms, um, but I tested negative. So yesterday I got tested again with a PCR mm. test. You're from Belgium, right? Belgium, yeah, that's true. What do you speak there? Well, it's the same, same as Dutch, like uh, in Holland, same language. Okay. Dutch. Put the neck, put the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your tear, put your I will make that just to see. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, we should get the results today. I haven't had them yet. Let me check. No. I was basically up all night until like 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. This morning just coughing and tossing and turning and feeling not so great. Ahem. <coughs> <coughs> So I'm gonna continue to wear the mask and distance myself from Naik until we are sure that he actually has it and it's not something else and so that I don't make him sick. <clears throat> do you want to make the oats that we got or do you want to order something? I just need to eat something but I can't make anything. Luckily, you can pretty much order anything online here with uh, Rappi, which is like the Mexican Uber. You can order food, you can order groceries, you can order from stores. There's a, there's a few uh, pharmacies as well. And there's even a personal shopper option. If you want a specific pair of socks from a specific store or you want something from any store around, you can just tell them, yeah, please go to... Uh, the Walmart, I want something specifically there or to um, store down the road to get me some special ice cream that I always like or whatever you want, you can, you can have them get it for you, which is amazing. Ta-da! Medicine and water. <laughs> I ordered some multivitamins for you, my lady. Mm -hmm. Courtesy of uh, a rapid delivery, so <laughs> it's gonna be a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> another day, another chocolate banana smoothie bowl with fruit, with granola and coconut and stuff. I know I must sound horribly unexcited, but it's actually really good. Positive, at least I don't have to quarantine from you. Like, I can sit next to you on the couch 
instead of sitting here. Uh, no, I, I think I'm testing negative. <laughs> this is my couch. Uh, this is the, the non-COVID couch. That's, that's the COVID ward of the apartment. Uh, I feel horrible for being so unproductive these last couple of days because all we've been doing is sitting here like drinking green juice and trying to rest and watch Netflix and we I, I thought on day one I wasn't feeling too bad as you may have seen in the, in the last video I was pretty okay actually and I was like oh, I'm gonna be editing a video tomorrow and we're just gonna like you know be able to crack on in quarantine but Day two, I felt a little bit worse than day one, day three, which is today. I felt feel a little bit worse than yesterday. So, <clears throat> I don't even know where I'm going with this. I, see, I can't even finish a sentence, let alone finish an edit. <sighs> I just got a WhatsApp message from the um, laboratory that did the test, yeah. and they said, Negative. It's so weird. I tested negative on a PCR test, which is like, I think the most sensitive. How is this even possible? Am I faking it or something? Do I think I have COVID? It's my body just saying, hey, here's your headache because you think you have COVID. I, I guess there's still a possibility that I have it and I test that negative twice or just, I don't know. That <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Somehow the viral load is very low in my nose and, and I don't know. <clears throat> so the thing with Nae testing negative twice. Still don't know how he managed to pull that off. Even though he had symptoms is that yesterday I posted it on Instagram stories that, you know, I've been posting stories of the entire quarantine and um, how he tested negative again and some people, a lot of people actually were like, oh yeah, I tested negative a few times in a row or my husband tested negative a few times in a row and then on the third time or on the fourth time, um, he did test positive and it turns out he did have it but they just tested too early or whatever. The thing is, um, tomorrow we have another test that he needs to get tested before he gets out of here. And if he tests positive tomorrow, then I have to quarantine for another five days, <laughs> which would really, really suck to be honest. But yeah, there's not much I can do about that, I guess. I test positive five days of quarantine again, so I'll have to stay here for five more days. Well, well Kim technically can already leave then. I don't know, but I'm leaving. Like, I do not see the point, like. <laughs> Got your cough syrup, man. Nice little shot of uh, tequila. I do have to say though, my odds of survival will be way lower if I didn't have Nike, um, cause he takes really good care of me. Like, I give him a hard time sometimes because, well, I don't have much else to do here. <laughs> but um, he's been taking really good care of me, getting me food, getting me medicine. We can watch whatever Netflix show I want. So. <laughs> Kelly, come. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when we want to get in a better mood and have some laughs, we uh, look at uh, Fail Army, which is a YouTube channel, which is compilations of people and the animals just doing stupid stuff. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She's in the trash can! It's like these short video clips, but usually they're really, really funny. If you're feeling a bit down and you think life is not funny, that will pick you up every single time. Those guys have millions of views. It's super, super good. I don't know why, but the ones with the dogs are always the funniest, the funniest videos on there. <laughs> rappi rappi is muy rapido. Oh. My lady. This is, um, I mean, this is like a Mexican version of sushi, but only the fillings and the toppings and there's loads of sauce on there, but it's actually super good. 
I know this because we've had it several times before in this quarantine. We've become creatures of habit. <laughs> Eating yeah, the have. same things every day, like the smoothie <laughs> bowls and this and then... I mean, once you find some good stuff, why change? Why change a winning team when you've got great food? It's pretty healthy as well, so why not? I also feel a little bit better, like more energized. Yeah, you look a lot better. You look like happy. Shake it, baby. <laughs> Muy loco. <clears throat> Good morning. Today is day five of our quarantine, our last full day that we're supposed to spend in quarantine. Um, I will have to get another test done. That's the first order of the day actually. Get a test done and then hopefully I will test negative because if I test positive now, I'll have to do another at least five days of quarantine, which would really suck to be honest. I mean, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna test negative. I'm sending out good vibes into the universe for testing negative. The problem is with all these tests that he has had to do is that we don't really have much cash left and we don't wanna send him to an ATM. We need, what do we need? So we need 1000 pesos for the test, which is like $50 and I've so far found 500, 600, 770. Where is it? Can you not ask the man for a discount? Customer loyalty discount? <laughs> yeah, those look like so money here. It's not Mexican money. It's 20 Turkish lira. <sighs> 500 pesos, baby. Thank goodness. And, and I have decided that as a reward to myself, I am getting the couch today, which is so much more comfortable than the spot that I've been in. Because Nate's gonna try to do a little bit of work. So he doesn't need this spot anyway. We haven't posted in more than a week. I haven't been able to do uh, any work since we've been here in quarantine actually for our freelance uh, work that we do for translations. So it means we don't have any, it's like zero income right now, except for like- And quarantine is expensive. And quarantine is expensive because we rented like a two bedroom apartment because we want to sleep separately, which is like $75 a night, which to be honest, not too bad, but it's a lot more expensive than we usually do. And we've been ordering a lot of food as well. Um, so yeah, we are in quarantine, which is also more expensive. So this, these have been like very, very expensive week with zero income. So COVID testing guy replied to me. He said, mm, I don't think that you can find it uh, useful because your girlfriend is still positive. So if I made you the test today, you could get a negative result, but it's not doesn't mean that you will not have COVID in a few days more. I recommend wait to get a negative result from your girlfriend, and then you can repeat your your test. Mm, but that's not that's not usually how they do it. No. We can't keep doing tests. Like tests cost money. And we're not yeah. sure. In, I mean, it's not like a hobby. It's not like, let's take a test every day and see when we test positive. <laughs> I mean, it's not usually and how it works. And you don't need to get retested. I don't need to. Because they don't even recommend retesting yeah. once you've had COVID because I can still test ne uh, positive in like two months down the road. When is our flight scheduled? The 23rd, right? I think so, yeah. Well, I could maybe wait until tomorrow to get tested. That's the thing with getting COVID though. It's just like this huge practical thing, especially in our case, of course, because we're because we're traveling, but I mean, that is the risk that comes with it, I guess. And there's just so much to think about when you have it. <sighs> mm. I mean, it, I think it's best to just follow the CDC guidelines, no? Yeah. I mean, they're the experts, they know. On the bright side though, this whole COVID situation, it's definitely not ideal, but 
it's good to think of like the stuff that is good even though things sort of suck a little bit right now there is still quite a lot to be grateful for and actually francis if you see this video you are sort of the person who reminded me of that because we were facetiming earlier uh, with a bunch of friends including francis and um we were showing them, I was showing them the room and I was showing them the apartment and the terrace and when I showed outside, Francis was like, blue skies, like it's winter at home right now in Belgium and we haven't seen blue skies in a really long time. And then I was like, snap. <laughs> I sort of felt bad in the moment for all the, the negativity, for all the negative thoughts I've had in my head the past couple of days and being like nuh, 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 nuh. this sucks and it does suck a little bit but I mean at least when we get out of here and we will get out of here we will still be in paradise I can't really see it right now because I mean yeah but still now it's time again for some rest uh, we're going to be watching this show on Netflix it's called Vis a Vis I think it's a Spanish series, but they've got English subtitles, and it's pretty good actually. It's about a prison, they're sometimes a little bit violent. But uh, it's also really good to improve our Spanish a little bit, so at least the time we're watching this is not completely lost. Because why the heck not? Probably our last day in here, so I'm going to enjoy my smoothie bowl, my final smoothie bowl. As from today, I'm actually allowed to go outside again, but as I still had some symptoms yesterday, I'm just gonna wait this day out to be sure. I'm really, really tired. I slept for 11 hours last night. I'm really, really tired. Doctor's gonna come over in a bit to test me. That's the last test that he has to take. You can fail this test, it's just one more. Yes, I can fail. And the funny thing was he said, yeah, most people uh, get a positive result and then they don't believe me and ask me to come back and all that stuff. And you get a negative result and you don't believe me, <laughs> ask me to come back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So we just ordered some food, like the sushi is free again. And it says, have a nice day on the box. And then look what it says here, Kim, smiley, Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Very original. Negative. Negative. <laughs> Bam. It seems we are in the clear, people. Can I hook? <sighs> so after 10 days, it is time to leave our really nice apartment here, actually. Uh, it's been nice to have a rest here and recover. Oh, unfortunately, I don't feel fully recovered yet. I still feel a bit tired and not really great. But uh, we have to check out we're going to another place. We're lots and lots better, both of us, but we're not well yet. We would have loved to stay for a couple more days at this apartment until we were supposed to fly to Mexico City in two days, but we had to check out today and it was no longer available. Today is day 11 since I tested positive, so I'm no longer contagious like at all. I don't even need to wear the mask anymore. In two days we're gonna fly to Mexico City. Yep. Uh, we're not gonna be able to see much more of La Paz because we had the flight scheduled and, yeah. and we already had it rescheduled and uh, yeah we had some plans for La Paz to do some cool stuff but we did see the whale sharks which we is did, cool I mean yeah that was probably the coolest thing we could see here so that was really really cool COVID would not recommend it no we're gonna leave it a bad review on TripAdvisor and we will see you in the next video where we're flying to Ciudad de Mexico oh yeah